Hello everyone and welcome to 360 Alberta. I am Jackie Fenske and my guest today is Ryan Wilson, the Manager of Transportation Infrastructure with uh, Strathcona County Transportation and Agricultural Services. And we're going to talk winter maintenance. This year our department's focusing a lot on being proactive and that's preparing for winter before it's here with our crews. Our crews are being formed and and we're seeing them starting to think about plowing roads, sanding roads. And what we've introduced last year was a new product in uh, anti-icing. So a product that's uh, placed on the roads to give us a little extra time before it freezes down onto the road. Uh, the product we use is called Road Guard. It's a calcium chloride uh, chemical. It's also cut with a uh, sugar beet product that allows it to tack down to the road and gives it a little bit more of a brown, darker color that helps us see it on the road and doesn't make it feel like it's black ice or a, or a shiny icy road. And this product is, we, we've piloted last year in major intersections uh, throughout both urban short park area and the rural area. And we saw success with the right timing. Uh, the product, again, isn't meant to be placed on a road during a storm. It's not meant to get rid of ice. It's our product that allows us to proactively in advance get on uh, get it on the road and hope that the snow doesn't stick and and we saw success with it. So uh, why sugar beets? Uh, sugar beets is there's a few different products out there that use different kind of organic products to help that adhesiveness to it so you can use um, some places use like we use as that beet juice a sugar beet type product but there is other uses like molasses that are added into it to more for color and just that stickiness. Now I live in the rural area so my concern is you know what's happening are we lifting wings what are we doing to make sure yeah. I get out of my driveway? The, we continue obviously the rural uh, residents are just important as any of them and our focus is to make sure those roads are safe for the higher traffic uh, and so our priority one roadways those bigger volume roadways are cleared first but then we don't forget about those subdivisions or the lower volume kind of gravel roads or aggregate roads and they're cleaned uh, with our snow plows and then followed up with a grader with a wing. That wing's purpose is, is one to widen out uh, the cleared surface but also make room for future snow which is sadly our pro proactive approach and we try hard with our, our grader operators to make sure that wing comes up before your approach in your mailbox and doesn't plow into your, your private property and, and cause you a bump or hazard that you wouldn't want to have a big bump coming out trying to get back on the road. When I, there's I might not make it, right? <laughs> yes, you might not make it. Some people do. So we work cl closely with our staff to make sure, one, we try to avoid that. But, but I guess in those situations when it does occur, we have a great tool uh, as a way for residents to give us feedback or questions, inquiries. And, and we would encourage people to use County Connect to get uh, their uh, info if, if, if we did make a mistake and plowed in your approach. We'd hopefully get that response to us so we can deal with it and, and focus on that. Strathcona has just um, put a new feature on the line, Scoop, right? Yes, Scoop is, is a new tool that was released this week and we have the benefit as a department to be placing our winter maintenance survey on this tool. So it's an online tool that allows our, our residents to uh, sign up and, and receive surveys that are available for them to fill out and for us as a department, it's just another great way to engage the community. And uh, this survey we're right now focusing on is engaging the community to ensure our winter communications is strong and meeting their needs. And because and what we want to make sure is we're communicating, but also meeting those communication needs of the different uh, either users or different areas in our community. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you the next time on 360 Alberta.